In this video, we're going to talk a bit about the order of operations when it comes to doing math in C Sharp. A lot of people don't understand the order of operations and get confused when something doesn't work out the way that they think it should. Let's take a look at an example. Let's do 2 plus 4 times 4. We tend to read this from left to right, which would be 2 plus 4, which is 6, multiplied by 4, which is 24. Okay, so let's run the app, and we should get 24. But we get 18. Why? Remember in the last video, we discussed operators. Instead of reading from left to right, these operators have a predefined order which will be executed first. In C Sharp, multiplication, division, and modulus will always happen first, with addition and subtraction following them. That means with 2 plus 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is executed first, and the result of that is added to 2. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 gives us 18. So what if we have a problem with both multiplication and division, which will be executed first? Let's change the problem to 2 times 4 divided by 4. If we run it, we get the result 2. With multiplication, division, and modulus, the solution will be read from left to right, so 2 times 4 is 8, divided by 4 is 2. Any addition or subtraction will be performed after the multiplication, division, and modulus is performed. If we add 4 at the beginning of the solution, and run the app, we get 6. 2 times 4 equals 8, divided by 4 is 2, plus 4 equals 6. Okay, so that explains the natural order of operations in C Sharp for basic math. There are other operators in C Sharp that have their own order of operations as well, but we'll get into that later. So now you should understand why you might get these results that don't seem to be right. It all comes down to the order of operation. But what if you wanted to force C Sharp to evaluate the 4 plus 2 part first? We can force C Sharp to change the order by wrapping parentheses around the part we want executed first. So let's put parentheses around 2 plus 4 here at the beginning. Also, I'll change the last 4 to a 2, just so we get a different result. Run the app and we get 12. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 6 times 4 equals 24. Divided by 2 gives us 12. You can use as many groups of parentheses as you like, and you can even contain them in other blocks of parentheses. For example, let's change the multiplication operator to an addition operator. If we run it as is, we get 8. 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 divided by 2 is 2. We add 6 plus 2 and get 8. If we wrap another set of parentheses around the first set and plus 4, it will evaluate 4 plus 2, which is 6, then add 4, which is 10, divide that by 2, which is 5. Let's run the app, and we get 5. That covers the order of operations when it comes to basic math operators for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus, and how to force C Sharp to follow a different order if you need it to. Make sure you understand this order, otherwise you'll run into issues with the code you write not performing the way you expect it to.